Welcome to the vlog. I've been thinking a lot about what motivates us to go out and ride recently. And unfortunately on a day like today when it's cold and wet and windy, the last thing you want to do is leave the house and go and actually ride on the road. In fact, I think we've had a, a yet another storm warning. I've kind of lost track of how many and what they're called. It's Storm Boris or Storm Richie or something like that anyway. And I would even argue that it's actually dangerous to go out and ride on a day like today. So that's that option taken away from me. But under normal circumstances, I think I do need an extra reason to motivate me. And one of the reasons that I've had recently is what I call the 24 days of cycling. And this is something I started last year. It was the 23 days of cycling because it was 2023. Uh, obviously this year it's 24 days because it's 2024 and then next year it's more than likely going to be 25 days of cycling and the the rules of the challenge are very simple it's to ride my bike either indoors on a turbo trainer or a spin bike or something like that or actually out on the road for at least 20 minutes every single day for the last 24 days of January and I started on the 8th of January and I finished on the 31st of January. In fact, I haven't actually finished. I did, in fact, start on the 1st of January and I've been cycling every single day for at least 20 minutes ever since. So I think I've got about 40, minutes, uh, 40 days of cycling in the bag already. And to help me do this, uh, I've got the help of some subscribers of the channel and some friends of mine and they're all doing the challenge with me. So um, I've expanded the rules a little bit. So it's not just cycling, it's also walking for 20 minutes a day or running for 20 minutes a day. And one of the reasons I did that is because some of the people doing the challenge are based out in Canada and the weather there at the moment is extraordinarily cold. Uh, in some cases, it's gone down to minus 45 degrees Celsius. I've no idea what that is in Fahrenheit, uh, but they're still getting out and they're still doing at least 20 minutes in really deep snow, really thick ice and everything. And they're going out and they're doing their 20 minutes actually outside on the road, or in some cases, they're doing it on frozen lakes, which um, <laughs> would scare the life out of me, but they assure me that the ice is thick enough and they're perfectly safe. So I certainly hope that they're, they're looking after themselves and being very, very careful. Um, it's really humbling to see them do that because when I look at the weather here and it's just wet and cold and windy, um, it kind of puts things into perspective for me. Now, Another way that we sort of motivate each other is that we have a, a WhatsApp group between us. So we're able to chat to each other. We're able to share photos and videos of our rides. And it's just become a really nice, friendly community. We, we motivate each other. We comment on each other's rides. Uh, and we just chat about stuff, not necessarily about cycling. It's just a great way to, to motivate ourselves to get out and do the challenge. And in fact, uh, it's been so motivating that um, because some of the people have been unable to do all of the 24 days, we've, we've added extra days uh, for them to, to catch up and do 24 days within you know, the, 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 the period of the challenge. So that's really, really good. Another reason why I want to motivate myself is of course, because of my ride coming up in three weeks time when I fly off to South Africa to ride the Cape Town cycle tour. This is an absolute bucket list ride for me and I really do want to be fit to be able to do it. The ride itself is 110 kilometers with 1600 meters of climbing. So it's tough enough, but it's not impossible. Um, but particularly after Christmas, I, I you know, when, when my fitness is completely gone due to all of the, the Christmas excesses and everything, um, it didn't give me a lot of time to get fit. So I've been really pushing at it and trying to uh, chip away at the, 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 the slob inside and trying to get myself fit to be able to actually do this ride. I don't want to just complete it. I want to be able to ride it 
and enjoy it because it's just a one-off, once-in-a-lifetime ride for me. So it's something I've always wanted to do and I'm going to make the absolute most of it. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. The other cycling event that I've signed up for is the Isle of Wight Randonnée, which takes place just 20 kilometres or so down the road from me. And it's a ride around the Isle of Wight. And it's a very similar ride profile to the Cape Town ride. Again, it's 110 kilometres with 1,600 metres of climbing. I've ridden it many times. Uh, and that, begin that, that event is on the 5th of May this year. So um, the weather then is very hit and miss indeed. I've ridden it in 30 degree sunshine and I've ridden it in 8 degrees wet and windy. It was pretty miserable too. So I've no idea what the weather's going to be. I've signed up for it and uh, again I, I want to put in one of the best times that I've ever done on that ride. Uh, with the, uh, the the training that I've done to, do, to get me to South Africa that should stand me in good stead. Plus it's two months after I come back from South Africa so I've got a, quite a bit more time to be able to improve my fitness further. So between coming back from South Africa and doing the, uh, the Isle of Wight Randonnée, I do have another cycling event. So I'm going to Mallorca in uh, late April with some friends of mine. And yep, we're just gonna go down there and we're going to do all of the classic rides. So the ride out to Cap Formentor, the ride up to look and then down the other side and we'll probably do that in reverse and I may even take on Sacalobra again. Uh, when I went to Mallorca last year I did Sacalobra for the very first time and that's after cycling in Mallorca for 20 years or so and uh, I had the motivation of some friends of mine um, and we, to be fair, we just um, got to the bottom. My friend Oscar came out to pick me up and uh, we drove to the bottom of Sakalobra or to the, the bottom of the climb to get to Sakalobra, rode up that, rode down Sakalobra and then rode back up again. It was a total of about 20 kilometres, but the climbing was just, yeah, I think it was something like... Um, 12, 1300 meters of climbing within that 20 kilometers. So it was a pretty tough ride. And when I got to the top, I was absolutely elated. It was this legendary mythical climb that I'd heard of. I'd been there many times, looked at it, thought this is just too hard for me. Uh, and there I was, I'd actually done it and completed it and, uh, and got myself to the top. It wasn't easy, it was quite a slog, but nevertheless, I still completed the climb and I, I felt absolutely fantastic. So who knows, I may go back and I may do that climb all over again. Although this time I might cycle out from Alcudia where we're staying to uh, Sacalobra, ride back up again and then ride back to Alcudia. That will be a tough ride. That's about 105 kilometers and yeah, I don't know how many thousands of meters of climbing. I'm sure somebody will correct me on that but that's that's something that hopefully I'll be fit enough to do at the end of April. So I've got a lot to look forward to uh, this first half of the year. It's always important to get some kind of events and some motivation going between New Year and the spring when the weather really does uh, start to improve and I'm hoping that with this foundation I'm going to have one of my best years of cycling in, in a very, very long time. So hopefully you can join me on that. Hopefully your summer will go equally as well. And if not, then yeah, try and find a reason to motivate yourself to get out on the bike, to do some training, and just get yourself fit and strong enough to, to enjoy your summer. So in the meantime, if you would like to see exactly how I did on that Sacalobra climb and how much I suffered, then you can click on the video just here.